Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone and welcome to the next lecture on this series, the course designed on constitutional democracy and social movements in India. In this lecture, uh, today we are going to deal with and discuss the issue of constitution, its working and democracy in India. We all know that India got its independence in 1947 and with that, the process of constitution making also got into progress. The constitution making progress in India, the process in India was multi-pronged. It was engaging for almost three years. During the process, the contestations of different ideas, aspirations of diverse people from different parts of India came under one roof to make sense of how to create future for our generation and generations to come. It was during that time that the ethos and the ideals which were thrown under contestations by the Indian National Movement, it came into picture. It was also the phase and the period during the 1947 and after that, that we find that the forefathers of our Indian constitution, they thought of engaging with the best of the political ideas of their time in order to decide that which idea can really shaped the future of India. It was also during the same time that we find that India tried to figure out that what will be its position in the global world of politics and democracy. In this whole process, we also know that during the whole situation, various political ideals were tested, various political ideas were contested and the long debate during the constituent assembly somehow tried to figure out that what will be the real future of India. It is in this situation that we see that the whole idea of the constitution making process, the idea of constitution as it developed over a period of time and the kind of framework which we decided for ourselves were tested. If we look into the 75 years of India's democracy and the way it has unfolded in the last seven decades, we need to understand that there are two aspects to this whole understanding of constitution and constitutional democracy in India. On the one hand, we have the institutional framework and the working of the constitution and its institutions. On the other hand, we can also engage with the diverse developments which took place in the last seven decades in the form of politicization of the castes, politicization of identities, the issue of linguistic differences, the issue of regional imbalance, development, growth, economic progress, gender involvement, the whole issue of environment, whole lot of other things which are the process part of the political democracy in India. In this particular lecture, we will try to make sense of democracy in India through the constitutional framework that how the constitution came into picture and how it has over a period of time contributed in the strengthening of democracy in India. If we look into this whole idea of constitution as an idea, we need to understand that the constitution is the highest legal political document for its government. In other words, it embodies the statement of rights of the people, aspirations, what they think about themselves and for themselves. Now this understanding of constitution as a statement of the rights of the people through which what the people are thinking about themselves and also that what they are thinking in terms of their own position in the larger framework of the society that it becomes pertinent and important to understand in the history of a society 
its political aspirations that what kind of constitution that society is trying to envisage. The constitution lays down the structure of power, obligation of the rulers towards the ruled. Such obligations imply not only the limit of the governmental power, but also the expectations of the people from the government. Now, there are two sides to this whole idea of constitution. On the one hand, we have the constitution as a system or as a text through which the power of the government is checked or the power of the government is put under control. But on the other side of the positive side of the constitution is that it reflects the aspiration of the people. It reflects that what people think and expect from their own government. A significant point about a constitution is that it is future oriented rather than past oriented. Now, if we think of constitution, we always have to keep in mind that constitution projects the possibility and the aspirations and the dreams of the people about their future that what they are looking forward to. Constitution is not about what was the past of a country in one sense. Of course, it reflects a whole lot of ethos and the feelings and the sensitivity about a whole lot of issues which are largely guided and shaped by its own past. But that doesn't mean that the constitution aspires to achieve that. The constitution necessarily aspires to achieve whatever it is supposed to achieve in the future forms. People who administer their affairs according to traditions and customs do not need a constitution. And the classic example of this is the United Kingdom. So we find that all those societies who are largely guided and shaped by the old practices and the traditions, they don't need necessarily a constitution. Only a society which is based on modern ethos, which is trying to experiment and figure out its position in the new format of the organization of the individual society and the state that it looks forward to constitute its own constitution. It was in this process that the Indian people during the freedom struggle and at the point of in freedom struggle that they constituted their own polity around the principles of what we call as the constitution of India. Historically, whenever a constitution has been framed, it has followed a revolution. Now, this is an interesting aspect of framing of the constitution that one can argue that across the globe, wherever you find that a constitution is coming up or is in the making, it is always preceded by certain kind of revolution. Those revolutions may not be violent or may be violent, but they always are preceded by certain kind of revolutions. In the Indian context, we find that the Indian national movement was that revolutionary phase in the making of the Indian constitution which preceded the actual formation of the Indian constitution. And thus, one can easily say that a constitution has been intended to usher in a new social and political order. Now, these two terms become very important in terms of understanding the whole framework of constitution in India. That on the one hand, it ushers a new social possibility in terms of changing the society, its norms, its culture and its practices. On the other hand, the constitution also introduces new possibilities